Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an extremely highly requested video. It is all about how I teach my one-year-old, um, how I've been teaching her language basically and words. I always have to bribe my kid with food while I film so that she's not screaming the entire time. I did a poll on Instagram and 96% of you guys wanted to see this video so I thought I would film it. I'm constantly showing Sydney on Snapchat and Instagram like her new things that she knows, body parts, colors, shapes, um, words, just you know all kinds of things like that. So if you enjoy these types of learning videos and kind of educational videos and just whatever whatnot, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. I would love to have you a part of my channel. My name is Haley and I do all kinds of mommy and me videos. My daughter is Sydney and she is almost 16 months old already. And turn your notifications on by hitting, clicking that notification bell. And without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. So I'm not claiming that my child is a genius at all whatsoever. Um, every child learns at a different pace. Sometimes kids focus on physical, sometimes they focus on language, speaking, learning, playing. Like maybe they just, you know, some kids don't speak until they're like three, some kids Speak at a very early age so every child is different but I just wanted to share um, kind of how I teach my child language and you know what I do I'm no expert Sydney seems to pick up on language and you know words very quickly whatever it is seems to be working okay so quickly I have a couple of things beside me here for products um, that I want to talk about and there are Sydney's favorite so I need to get this out of the way in the beginning so one of the most amazing amazing things for her for learning have been flashcards and specifically these are the ones that I have here they're like DK my first um, I have the animals and then the colors and shapes now the cool thing about these flashcards is they're called picture cards on Amazon of course I will link them in my description box and they're on my shoppable Amazon page as well. You guys can click that link and there's a ton of educational toys that I've had for Sydney linked in the Amazon shoppable page so you can check that out as well. But the cool thing about these cards, if you can tell, they have like a touch and feel part. So it's very like fun for them to learn. It's fun for them to pick these up and play with them. And then I'll say like, Sydney, what does a sheep say? And then she'll say bah or not cooperate because she's over and bored with um, you know everything I'm trying to teach her so each pack has 16 cards and they are touch and feel um, Same with the colors and shapes. They do have my first words and things that go the reason why I didn't pick up the my first words is because we have this book for pictures and then this book So these are like my first word books. Um, they have you know all kinds of different versions of them she did get the first ones at her pediatrician's appointment she gets a book every uh, well visit that she has those things have been absolutely phenomenal educational teaching points anything that has very bright colors and bold colors are stimulating for kids um, but i have found sydney has learned so so fast I think she's a visual learner I'm a visual learner these are something that will grow with her as well like not only um, can you like spread them out and say Where, where's the sheep you can talk about what the animal sound you know what the animal makes for a sound and then they have like little learning points on the back too it says you know like touch the sheep's coat how does it feel and you can say like soft okay where's the turtle where is the tiger? Good girl. Where's the sh Rawr. Hey, where's the zebra? Sydney, where's the zebra? Oh, good girl. Oh my gosh. Sydney, where's the fish? Where's the fish? How about we find the fish on the cards? Where's the orange fish? Sydney, do you know where the fish is? You don't want to play with mommy? That's a monkey. Is it tickle? <laughs> I'm 
and tickles. What I do is I set them out, you know, I set them out and she loves books anyway. And I ask, you know, I like point to something in the beginning and I'll tell her exactly what it is. I'll say a ball, bunny rabbit, baby, you know, I'll say what they are and I will repeat them and then I will quiz her. I always say, where's the baby? And then she'll point to it and I'll say, you know, where's the strawberry? So I'm constantly quizzing her. Those have helped an a ton with her recognizing objects and words like they have socks shoes like clothing and, and items like that so there's just a little like those are some amazing teaching tools so those are probably the only actual products that I will mention um, there are a few good learning toys that I do have for her that I have linked in my Amazon shop like the elephant VTech book um, that one's awesome and we've got two puzzles. I Those are linked on my Amazon um, from Melissa and Doug. Those have been absolutely amazing. But other than that, yes, she learns from other toys. But other than that, it's mostly from me and talking. You guys may think I'm crazy, but since she's been born, I basically narrate our entire life. Every single thing that we do, I narrate. And I'm annoyed with myself. She's probably annoyed with me. If I filmed myself, which I will, I'll show you how, exactly how I teach her, you guys will probably be annoyed with me because I am like a broken record on repeat. It's kind of annoying, but I guess that's how they learn and process and learn words. By repetition, and I guess by saying things three times, have you ever heard the um, that if you someone introduces themselves to you and says their name that in order for you to not forget it You can you say it out loud you internalize it and you say it three times I don't know if you've ever heard that before But that's kind of what I do with Sydney and if you don't I don't know like take an evaluation of yourself when you're speaking to your child You usually say things more than once you usually say like Are you happy? Are you happy? You say it twice without even realizing it. It's just a natural reaction, like a natural instinct to say things several different times. So I basically narrate our life and I have since the day she's been born. It can get very exhausting, but like if I bring her upstairs to change her diaper, I say, Sydney, I, do you have a poopy diaper or we need to go change your diaper? And then I'll walk upstairs and I'll say, we're walking upstairs to go change your diaper. And then when I have her on the changing mat, you know, I'll say, here's your diaper. We're going to pull your pants down. Like every single thing that I do and have done, I narrate. So I narrate our lives to the fullest every single thing like every action has a word every you know like everything that you're doing so yes babies and toddlers and kids in general will learn words on their own through life experience through tv through other people and just doing things and hearing you say words but the more words that you're giving them and the more you're narrating life and the more that you're speaking your language to its fullest, the more that they're going to recognize and understand that. Um, in my opinion, I, I could be totally wrong, but like I said, this is, this whole video is a big in my opinion, okay? So just take it lightly. I've also heard that the more words that you speak, the easier they pick up on the language too. Like I have chosen not to water down or dumb, dumb down things for her. I, um, you might think I'm crazy, but like, I never put a limit on what she can learn and what she can know. Uh, like when we're outside, if we see a squirrel running around, I'm like, oh, Sydney, look, Sydney, look, there's a squirrel. And then I'll say, what do squirrels eat? Acorns, look at the squirrel running in the tree. Like I take it to the next level all the time. Yeah. I tried, to, I don't know. Now, yeah, yeah. now she's pointing outside because we have squirrels on the deck all the time. Yeah, yeah squirrels went bye-bye. Yeah. So I still talk baby talk. That's like, it, she's, <laughs> I still talk baby talk. Like that's inevitable that you're going to, but I definitely try to speak more full sentences and paragraphs and speak constantly. I always use this as an example. I'll say, Sydney, go get your shoes. We're going to go outside. I shouldn't even say any of that. I, I have to like stop what I'm saying because she understands everything that I'm saying. She'll go pick like her sandals and I'll say, oh, it's raining. We can't wear those today. Get your sneakers. And she will pick out her sneakers. Like, because every single time she puts her sneakers on, I say, we're putting your purple sneakers on. Sydney, can you go get me your sneakers? Go get mommy your sneakers, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, go get your sneakers. Let's follow her. Let's see what she comes back with. Get your sneakers, your purple sneakers. Yeah, get your shoes. Although I'm kind of teasing her because we're not going outside. Good girl! Thank you, honey. Yeah, your purple sneakers. <laughs> now just for an example, I'll show you all of the shoes that are, uh, that are over there for her to choose from. This is the pile of shoes for her to choose from. She has flip-flops, sandals, water shoes, other like boots. She has a ton of shoes to choose from and she chose the correct purple sneakers. And now you might think I'm crazy. I'm, I'm, it's just like, I think I'm crazy to be already going to the next level. She's not even two, but I am starting to teach her left from right. It's just the next level. She knows where her feet are, her toes, her socks, her shoes. So what's next? I say, we're putting your left shoe on. We're putting your right shoe on, on your right foot and your left foot. Like I'm, not that she knows her left from her right. She definitely doesn't. But I'm implementing the next learning lesson. There's always a lesson to be learned. So I'm always trying to teach that lesson if that makes sense. I recently, I watch Brittany from Vassar Beauty. She's like a million subscribers. She's amazing. Um, and she was reading a book or something or some person, some whatever educational doctor book, whatever had said, um, like speaking 20,000 words. I could be wrong. Who knows? 20,000 words a day is how babies are going to like pick up on language. So to me, that makes total sense. And it kind of vibes with what I'm going and what I do with City because I speak constantly. I'm speaking full sentences. I'm constantly quizzing her without her knowing I'm quizzing, thinking that it's a game. She'll go to her toy bin and I say, get me your elephant. And then she'll bring me the elephant. And then what next? You say, what does an elephant say? And then I say, stomp your feet like an elephant. Like every little thing has its learning points. I don't, I don't even know. Like I'm constantly quizzing her. I've got the flashcards out. I've got any toys, any item, anything out. I'm quizzing her. And then if she doesn't understand it, I'll say, I'll point to it myself and I'll say, where's your elbow? And I'll point to her elbow. I'll say elbow and I'll point to both of them. Where's your elbow? Point to it. I will repeat it like six. now she's pointing to her elbow. We actually just learned elbow today. Like I don't even know if she really knows where her elbow is, but Sydney, where's your elbow? Point to your elbow. Good girl. Just like that. Like literally we learned elbow today. This morning I was kind of talking about elbow. She knows, you know, toes, feet, knees, elbows, hands, head, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, all, most of her belly, like most of her body parts, she knows. Um, and that's just based on repetition. I'm constantly modeling it for myself. I'll model it on myself. I will take her stuffed animals. I will point to the body parts on her stuffed animals. Currently, I'm trying to teach her how to nod her, her head yes. So I take her favorite stuffed animal, her doggy, and I nod the doggy's head yes. And I'll say, see, the doggy's saying yes and then I'll do it. She's not, she hasn't done that yet. She can of course nod her head no, but she can't do the yes quite yet. So we're working on that. Kids are sponges and that is 100% true. We always say kids are sponges. They seriously are. She picks up on every single thing that I do and I say my mood. It, it's just insane to me. I remember when she was like 10 months old and I was asking her where the Christmas tree was because it was set up in the corner and she turned around and pointed to it. And then I said, do you want to take a bath? And she turned around and went like pointed to the bathroom to go take a bath. It blew my mind at 10 months old how much she already absorbed just based on me constantly saying what we were doing. So narrate your life, say words, say sentences, bring it to the next level. Even if you think this is way above and beyond what they're ever going to learn at this stage in life, it's not. They don't put a limit or a cap on what you're teaching your baby. Even if your baby is three weeks old, tell them, we're taking your pants off and then on her little onesies, the three buttons. I will always count the button. You can count everything. You can tell colors. Every single item has a color. Every item has a number. Like, 
or an action or a verb. Don't dumb it down. Use full sentences. Repeat yourself and put yourself on repeat like crazy. And if you want to focus on colors for an entire week, then focus on colors. Every like she has those little drums and she's had those since she was like five months old and they have the three different colors. <gasps> Where's the yellow? Where's the yellow drum? Good girl. Where's the red? Well, you already pointed to it. That's blue. You want it on? Okay. Sydney, where's the red? She always points to, she always points to the power button when I say red because the power button is red. Remember, everything is a lesson. Don't let it go without a lesson. That's why they say like grandparents is like the best because you don't have to worry about teaching them or anything. Parenting is exhausting constantly teaching them the colors and it's kind of annoying like it is but seeing how much she has absorbed and learned just almost like effortlessly only just because she's hearing everyone talk and say them she knows most of her colors and she's almost 16 months that's awesome i mean i'm not saying that's like ingenious a lot of you know kids probably do and a lot of kids probably don't and that's fine doesn't mean one's smarter than the other they all catch up to each other eventually but it kind of makes my life a lot easier because i can ask her to go do things i like give her a paper towel and i say clean up your mess and she cleans up her mess like sydney go put this in the trash for mama please <laughs> let's put it in the trash oops we have all your animals here Okay, Mama will open it. Put it in the trash. Come on. Thank you. Good girl. Oh, watch your hands. Good job, sweetie. Thank you. Good girl. Hey, Sydney. Where is the banana? Where's the banana? Good girl, bananas are yellow. So we do have the TV on pretty much daily cause it's just, I don't know, like I don't know how people, it's just what we do. She watches on Netflix this show called Word Party and she loves it and I hate it. I love it because it's very educational but I absolutely hate it because it's so annoying. But they learn, they learn, they learn colors, shapes, words, uh, feelings and emotions, they're, it's, a very very educational show um, and it has animals like talking elephants and pandas and whatnot she absolutely loves it and I know she's learned a ton from that um, Sesame Street Mickey Mouse a bunch of educational shows are constantly on in the background so she watches here and there she doesn't sit down and watch an entire show clearly um, so those are some of the TV shows that are just on in the background books books Books, I can't say enough about books. I've been reading to Sydney since she's been born and the pediatrician said, the more you read to them, the more they'll learn the language. It goes without saying, like it goes along with the more that you talk, the more that they'll learn the language. Because when you're reading books, it goes in context and they're using different words. And just the more words that you use in context daily, I feel like the more that they're going to absorb and learn how to use words. And I don't know how many animals she knows like the sounds and what they do, probably like 12. I don't know, I'll correct myself, but she knows a ton of animal noises, a ton of body parts, colors, um, shapes. She's still learning. The reason why I wrote, like, watch this ASAP is because start from the very beginning, or if you're not starting this until your baby's 10 months old, then you're not, who cares? Start it today, start talking to them, start speaking sentences, Tell them every single thing that you're doing with them, to them, point, it, point to things on you, on their babies and their toys and TV and just every single thing that you do, like remote, mama's phone. And then when we leave the house, I say, okay, mama's gonna turn the TV off now and I shut the TV off. Like everything is a lesson, don't forget that. I actually learned a really good lesson before I had Sydney from my cousin and my younger cousin, she has, a, he just turned three and he was talking early, knew how to count, knew like, just was very smart and knew things that I was like blown away by. And I'm like, how do you teach him? Like, how does he know all these things? And she said, 
Honestly, I don't talk baby talk. I, I never have, and she's definitely not a baby talker. I'm a baby talker. Like, I always use my baby voice, and I'm annoyed with my baby, my baby voice, but I'm kind of a baby talker, but at the same time, I learned the lesson to her, from her, that you don't need to talk baby talk to them. They can understand full sentences. They can understand normal speech and normal tone of voice. That's, I don't know, that was like a huge like light bulb that went off in my head. So ever since Sydney's been born, I've used that. Like I've implemented full sentences, paragraphs, and trying my hardest not to use super baby talk. And honestly, I think that that has helped a ton because I don't water things down. I don't say... Like, I mean, I might say like baby sentences where you skip all kinds of words and you know what I mean? Like you don't make it a full sentence. You just speak like a couple of words. Um, I definitely have done that, but I try my hardest to use full adult sentences, if that makes sense. Like she watches my mouth when I'm trying to say words. She watches and she tries to say what I'm trying to say. Like we're working on please. Sydney, can you say please? She goes, buh, because she's watching me say, P please put my lips together. And it comes out, buh, but she's watching. They watch your lips. So try to enunciate words. Don't water them down. Don't like baby them down, dumb them down. Try to um, enunciate and use proper English. Whatever language that you speak, use proper language. You want to teach anyone? She's kind of tired. So let's see. Hey. Sydney, where are your ears? Good girl. Where's mama's mouth? No, that's my nose. See how she got it wrong there? I say, no, that's my nose. There's your nose, there's mama's nose. Where's my mouth? Where's my mouth? That's your mouth, where's mama's mouth? You silly. Mama's mouth. Your mouth, mama's mouth. Now she's just being silly. She 100% knows where her mouth is. Um, but even during that moment, do you see how I just repeated it? I say it on myself. I say it on her and I'll say it like four times um, constantly. And like right now she's touching my earring. So I say, mama's earring, it's sparkly. Mama's earring is sparkly. How many earrings do I have? One, two. That can get exhausting because I do that all day long. But everything has more than one lesson. Everything, mama's hair. And where's your hair? Yeah! Oh, don't pull your hair. Don't pull your hair. See, actually I didn't even mean to, but you see how I said don't pull your hair twice? If you watch yourself, you probably do the same thing. Like everyone talks to babies and, and says things repeatedly and that's how they learn. Hey, where's your knee? Can you point to your knee? Mama's knee, your knee. Good girl. How many knees do you have? One, two. Two knees. One, two. Where's your elbow? Good girl. Good girl. Hey, where are your hands? Yeah, hands. Yeah, where's the red square go? Look, red square goes right here. Yay! Good job. And the blue? Yay! Good job, honey! Good girl! Yeah! The purple diamond goes right back where the purple diamond goes. Put the blue oval in the blue oval spot. Yay, Sydney! Good girl! Yay! Put the purple where the purple is, right here. Purple. Purple diamond. Good job, baby! Put the pink where the pink rectangle goes, right here. Put the pink rectangle right here. You can do it. Yay! You can do it, honey. Good girl. You want mama to do it? Okay, ready? Where does the pink go? Show mama the pink. You wanna do it? You do it. Good job, baby. Good job, honey. Mwah. Yay! Put it where the purple goes, sweetie. Where does purple go? Good girl. I can, well, you can do it. Here, ready? <gasps> Yay! So whenever Sydney does something correct, 
um, or like learns something new and does something correct, I throw a party for her. So positive affirmation is huge, like dance, sing, clap, say yay, hug them, kiss them, like a big positive affirmation, like throw an obnoxious party whenever your child does something correctly, even if they don't like super succeed, even if like she can't quite get the puzzle piece in and I have to help her when it's actually in, I throw that party. You best believe I throw a party. All right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you learned some things. Um, if you have taught your child specific things or like, whatever leave them in the comments down below let me know your suggestions because i'm very very open to suggestions it's never too early to teach them the next lesson obviously i would try to teach them the basics first like animals and animal sounds and colors and shapes before you go into you know long math division but hey you do you boo um anyway guys again give the video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel because i would love to have you a part of my family here we are trying to reach 20k and then i'll do a giveaway and i'm so excited so i um, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm teaching her all the basics you know like cooking cleaning laundry folding vacuuming um just you know make my life a little easier